let's talk about two very interesting and less heard theories about migration you are already familiar with theories like ravenstein theory for migration today we would be talking about two important theories those are known as human capital theory and the life course theory now let's understand the difference between the two and what are these two theories about so first talking about the human capital theory human capital theory says that a educated person from a poor nation or a less developed nation would move towards a more developed nation so who moves is a educated person from less developed country to a more developed country now this movement we can say is symbiotic in nature why it is symbiotic in nature because the less developed country would get what would get the capital the person who is employed in the more developed country from a less developed country would send the perks back to the country so in turn this less developed country gets the capital and what does this more developed country gets a more developed country would get the labor in return and therefore we say this relation actually exists as a symbiotic relationship and this theory under migration is known as human capital theory of migration the second important theory is the life course theory of migration what does this life course theory of migration says life course theory of migration says that there has been a migration because of some life events now what could be those life events it could be marriage so movement because of marriage movement because because of divorce movement because of childbirth so there could be any life changing event which led to movement from one region one re region to another region and this theory is what is known as the life course theory uh, of migration so two important theories of migration in another one of the lectures we had talked about what is the difference between uh migrants versus refugees extremely important so don't get confused and who are internally displaced people so all these three terms are different recently rohingyas uigurs a lot of news and therefore this topic also become important for your gs perspective so students for geography optional for net geography do focus on these two concepts and uh do follow the links below for more information and detail on the complete course on geography option